Ladies and gents, Six Figs here from YouTube. Thanks for joining today. In today's video, we're talking about ICP, ecosystem news and charts. I've got some great things to report about the charts, but let's get into this crazy article that the one and only Dominic Williams, folks, uh, tweeted. The reason competitors try to suppress the internet computer blockchain, ICP ecosystem, is that they anticipate its success. Now they just deleted its Wikipedia page. Sorry guys, it will continue succeeding anyways. Now I have some experience dealing with this whole Wikipedia thing for like the last six months. And I do think that people involved with like the New York Times FUD campaign, people involved with the whole Arkham Unintelligence FUD campaign, Everybody involved with this huge smear campaign, FTX, Alameda, Tim Draper, all have this crazy media neural network that just reaches every corner of the internet to FUD on projects, not just the ICP, but other projects as well that we might not even know. Uh, really, when it comes down to it, they've got more Wikipedia editors than people at Definity, things like that. So Definity will get Wikipedia, uh, their Wikipedia ICP page edited with some like concrete information. The footers come right in and they strip it down back to what it was before. Uh, here we go. Wikipedia is now back with an Arkham Intelligence Roach Friedman section at, added. I didn't even look this far. Uh, before this, before I just showed you all of this, uh, but yeah, exactly my point, uh, too. Uh, we got Sears, folks. If you guys like betting and stuff like that, head on over to Sears. Not financial trading advice, not gambling advice or anything like that. Know your laws in your country, what you can and cannot do. Uh, Sears is like Twitter, except for you can bet on markets and stuff like that. They are having one hell of a funding round from what it appears. 24 out of 24 uh uh, tickets sold for the 500 ICP tier price, 60 out of 60 for the 100 ICP tier price, and uh, they are out, uh, almost halfway on this 10 ICP price. Uh, great project. I like it. I, I really think that it needs uh, to be uh, better covered. Uh, really, uh, when it comes down to other applications on the IC folks we've got hot or not just absolutely blowing up now the problem that hot or not is having is that they are burning through a ton a ton of cycles so with that said it's you know costing a lot of money to operate this application uh, but 12,000 new users onboarded on December 6th, it was insane. And we saw this incredible spike in cycles. Now, if you're not familiar with what cycles are on the internet computer, here's a really brief explanation. Basically, the applications, the dApps, they pay the gas fees for the users. And they have to kind of re-up these things called cycles uh, to kind of pay for these gas fees. And when we start to see a lot of cycles getting burned as users are using the DAP, we know that user activity is going up uh, and vice versa. So that's pretty sweet to see. Uh, big shout out to IC Stats. You guys got to follow IC Stats at IC Stats. Uh, really, they drop some really nice metrics, really great visuals. Uh, big shout out to them. Thousand new internet identities created the last day 219 near on spawned uh 1400 icp accounts uh let's see with at least one transaction since genesis okay uh and looks like we reeled in about 5 million uh transactions i don't know uh but yeah looks like we're up almost a thousand canisters on the day uh, yeah, things are looking on the up and up price kind of staying uh, sideways at this point in time. Uh, yeah, everything looks pretty decent here. Uh, here is a, a quick video from ICHOT.ICP. Uh, this is BitBoy talking about ICP. So let's just roll this. Everyone should go use ICP. This, this is not uh, technical advice. It's different than everything else that you've seen in crypto. And it's just interesting. It's very intriguing. So encourage everybody to go check out ICP. We've been working with an NFT artist there um, to you know, possibly be able to send some more people down. 
that would be cool to see BitBoy launch a project on, on the IC, folks. It would be sweet. Uh, so I hope that, uh, you know, and he chooses an artist, and I hope that uh, uh, we get something sweet because that will help bring a lot of users to the IC. Uh, no, big shout out to BitBoy Crypto for everything he's done. You guys, uh, we are very thankful to have BitBoy Crypto even mentioning ICP. If you think back the last year, it's been grim uh, for ICP. Uh, so we are at the ICP Internet Computer Dashboard. Kind of a cool visual. We got 213,000, almost 214,000 canisters. And, and this is just, it's been going parabolic. Here's the last year. Uh, transactions. And, and we can see that the transactions are just going absolutely parabolic. We're seeing 9,800 transactions a second, real time, somewhere in that neighborhood. Cycles are being burned like crazy. This is definitely one of those things. It's starting to go parabolic. Uh, there's just so much going for uh, the IC that uh, it's, it's an incredible point in time. Thinking back where we were at a year ago, man, it was miserable. And uh, really now things, uh, the, the developers, the, or the foundation, everybody has put in the time and effort to really push this thing as far as they can. And now we're seeing the rewards of all that. So, I mean, man, what a cool thing. We got a tweet, folks, out of Daniel. Crypto is good. Trade signals are scams. And I absolutely 100% agree with that. Uh, and really, when it comes down to it, trade signals lack one thing, the intimate ability to forward think on a chart. Here is a chart, folks. I did a live stream last night and I told the audience, I said, watch out, folks. We're looking at the four hour chart here. You know, none of this right in here was here, but I said, watch out. I think we could be getting some sort of cup and handle that could be forming here. So I am hoping that does happen. I mean, we got this very nice inverse head and shoulders, which took price to the upside. So there may even be some sort of Wyckoff uh, pattern in here as well. But for now, uh, on this four hour chart, we came back down, touched on this 200 moving average, kind of like I was speculating in last night's live stream. And now we are getting this bounce to the upside. I'm hoping that we continue at least back up to this $4.45 level. But ideally, I would like to see this thing come right up to about the $4.62 level. And uh, let's look at this thing on a daily chart as well. Um, <clears throat> really, I, I'm hoping we get this Elliott Wave Theory move to the upside and i'm hoping that we see the icp price really maintain above this four dollar 65 cent level the next few weeks this is going to be important if we can get price just even above this cloud here things are going to look so bullish for us but uh, right now the last two days people have been buying this dip uh pretty heavily bear with me one second People have been buying this dip uh, pretty heavily. We know this because we can see these long wicks to the downside and people are buying it back up and uh, basically, uh, you know, just buying it up. They're buying the dip here. Uh, so I'm hoping that we get a nice little rebound here uh, to say the least. But one of the other things too, this 50 moving average is kind of straightening out. And the second we start to see it, it's kind of maybe form this horizontal plane. We're going to see price really rip to the upside, maybe to like six bucks. Um, and this is this is going to be all because price is gearing up to Golden Cross. I'm hoping we get this, folks. I am so hoping we get this. But uh, for now, we're just going to have to really take our time and and see what happens the next few days. Like I said, I'd love to see uh, ICP hit some of those prices that I just mentioned. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. 
We'll see. So stick around, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this brief little overview on what's happening within the Internet computer ecosystem. I love you all. We'll make some more live streams here going into the weekend, things like that. So be sure to show up. You can ask questions. You can ask uh, me to review whatever crypto projects you're interested in. We'll see you guys on the next video. Stick around for the end screens. I got some other juicy videos you might like. Bye.